So there is a lot of hard physical training that is harder depending on the shape that you're in. So when you get there, you have to go through a lot of uh, exercise, few hours a day, you know, hitting the weights at the gym. Then you start with a specific training, which is testing everything from your ability to withstand G-force um, to also just uh, seeing how you handle uh, motion sickness and disorientation. They have something there called, that's nicknamed the spinning chair. Um, uh, it's called the vestibular chair. And they strap you in and they begin spinning you very rapidly in one direction for about a minute at a time. And then they stop and then they spin you really rapidly in the other direction. And this goes on and on for about 10 minutes. Well, another thing you have to do is the centrifuge. And the centrifuge, um, you sit inside of it. It's a couple hundred feet long, fills an entire big round building. And uh, you, you sit in the, in the front end of it and it spins at 200 miles per hour and it does 40 spins per minute. So um, this creates G's. Some people describe it as just a feeling of being crushed. Um, it's, a very, it's very difficult to breathe. You have to breathe in a very specific way, taking kind of shallow breaths. Um, you know, you can obviously, you can pass out. You're also told not to open your mouth because the pressure will actually shatter your jaw. And then there's the Vomit Comet, which is basically um, the zero-G flights. So that's also something, but that's nicknamed the Vomit Comet because uh, people get sick and even in, even in just a short period of time in the, in, the, in the weightlessness. In addition to that, there's survival training. They have to go out to um, uh, near the Black Sea and, and they have to get basically, uh, they, they simulate if, what happens if you land in water and you have to um, be in the capsule, which is incredibly cramped and small, with your two other crewmates, and you've got to you know, slip in and out of your spacesuit and get into your flotation suit um, as before you sink or <laughs> encounter some kind of problem. A lot of the training that the, the, the private um, space explorers are doing is, is also just language. Um, you know, when they go up there, they need to speak Russian. Um, the manuals are in Russian, so that's tough, especially for, you know, Richard Garriott, when he was in high school, he hated the idea of having to study foreign language so much that he actually got basic computer um, language to count as a foreign language. So now he's over in Star City and has to, base, has to cram, you know, Russian in the space of about eight months. So it is a pretty daunting task, and it's crucial because you know, the fact is they're hurtling through space. He's one of three people in this really small capsule and needs to be able to not get in the way.